here we are back on the whaler and we've got our deck out we've got our transom we're starting to get the rest of this out you know really this wasn't that bad just down here was all rotten but um went ahead and ripped all this out of here anyway so now we just got to chisel the rest of this off vacuum all this junk out of here and then pull this off grind all this down and then we're going to be using this coring to make the transom out of this coring so we'll cut this down and um, use this stuff here in order to make our transom and i was going to just do a v like this was just a v here and then leave this hollow but since i'm going to use that other coring stuff we might as well just go ahead and go all the way across the back of the transom go all the way across with that stuff opposed to just making the center spot where the engine goes that stuff's going to be plenty strong we're going to lay our glass down and we're gonna i gotta cut all this foam back so that way we can lay our glass down and around and wrap it like that into the transom so that way it seals it there we're gonna take glass we're gonna wrap it over the top of here smooth all that out on the back and then also wrap our glass down around the bottom so that way it's it's completely into the boat the transom will be one solid piece on the whole boat and that way we'll get some longevity out of it for today our only goal is to grind this all off get it ground down and get it prepped ready hopefully cut our glass and those pieces get that all set up so we can come in in the morning glass all that out and get this whole transom glassed in and that'll set us up for the next day Now I got pretty much all the transom ground down and this is all pretty good. I do need to just get up in these corners here just so I can lay some glass in there to strengthen up these corners a little bit more. It's, uh, I mean this is super thin so I'd like to just get at least one piece of glass rolled in there just to kind of give it some more strength. But the rest of this is all, this is all ready. I ground this down a little bit so I can do a little flap there but I'm going to putty this up. Once we get, I'll grind that out, blow all this out, and then once all this is blown out, then we'll take our coring, lay our coring up, cut our glass out, and then we'll be laying some glass here real soon. <laughs> this has been cut out for a 15 inch shaft, and what I've got is a 20. So what I need to do is go ahead and bring this transom up 
to this cavity here to account for the distance or the drive shaft on that engine that we're putting on there. Plus, I'd like to bring it up anyway, just so that later on, if someone wants to put something bigger than the 25 that we're going to put on there, if they want to put on, say, a 40 or a 50, which a lot of times people want to do, um, it'll be it'll be it'll be better for that opposed to having this cut out here. So we're going to bring this all the way up from the bottom to the top and uh, that's how we're gonna do our transom. Now we got our corners all ground out, got those cleaned up to where we want them. So now our first thing that we need to do is go get our mat and we're going to cut a piece of mat. It's gonna go across the transom here like this, cover the whole transom with one piece of mat. And then we're also gonna take our foam coring pieces, this that we're gonna make our transom out of and we need to cut these to size um, this is really nice because these will adhere really well to the corners of the transom. So, um, you know, just to show you, let me take this piece. Actually, let's take a little piece here and go over here. And you lay it up on the transom like this, and that will really take the contour of the transom really well so this is what we're going to be using um i'm probably not going to go all the way over i mean they only had here and here for the transom so i'll probably just come over to here and here just so that way we are on the inside of our eyelets and um the hand plate's gone so i don't really i'll have to figure that out later but we're just going to go past our eyelets here so that way our transom or our you know our trailer hooks for the trailer straps those eyelets there will be in the coring and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom so from here all the way to the top will be coring and we'll go just to right here on the edge of the transom with our coring material so let's cut our mat first once we get our mat cut we'll cut our coring and then once our coring's cut we will cut our woven to go over the coring and it doesn't have to be completely pretty all the way because again there's going to be the transom piece that goes here and that's really the structure of these little 13 whalers is actually this piece that's over here that is more of the structural component to the transom so this is going to actually be covering this is going to need a lot of work to clean that up but that's going to go over the coring that we put in there so it doesn't have to be 100 percent the prettiest thing that we do we're not going to ferret or anything like that we're just going to glass it so it's structural and then once it's glassed in that piece will go over the top of it
With our transom almost all the way cured up, we are going to get in here and start cleaning this up. I need to get all this old foam out of here and clean all this up, get it all ready.
Okay, now that we've got this in here, it's time to figure out how we want to attach it. So, the unfortunate thing about this is that this was never attached to that and it was just kind of there. And it was this was all one piece, this was hollow behind it, and then it was foamed in outside of that. So, now we've got to get this thing to kind of free float here in position and then get this part which was glass to it we're going to need to screw this here to the transom we're going to make up a bunch of pookie pookie all that in there and then screw it to it so that way this will this will seal here and still be kind of free floating around there i'll have to make some backing pieces to go back behind here i've got that pvc board there is probably what we're going to use and so i'll put a piece here put a piece down here put a piece down there and down there maybe one here that way this thing will put it in here and then i'll put screws in here with some washers on them with all that pookie stick it in there and that will be how we can attach this thing back and then we will grind a sliver out of here to lay a piece of glass to make this one piece again kind of unfortunate this drain here kind of got destroyed so that's going to take some fabricating when we go to put the deck back in but we'll have to deal with that when we get to it first thing i think today our only goal as of right now for the rest of this day is just to get this thing stuck in here and into place we've also got a crack over here though that we'll have to come back and fix too that's chipped that's all cracked so this thing's in pretty rough shape but we'll be able to make it work Okay, we've got the back transom portion stuck back in the boat. We've got our tabs built. We've got the piece screwed into place all set up. I took a marker and I have marked all the way around this. We've got screws in place. That's gonna help us keep this piece stuck against it. We're going to mix up some pookie and push all that pookie in there and stick this thing to the back of the transom, let it cure and then we will have this section back in the boat with this section back in the boat 
then we can come back and grind all this grind all this and re-glass it glass it back into the boat and that'll be our back half of the transom we're still going to need to sand all this stuff down and um get it all sanded down and and fix a bunch of spots all over this transom hey all over the boat in general we've got so much to do in cosmetic repair and fairing but this gets us to a good spot where we're going to get the back of the transom put back into the boat we'll be able to grind this out and then put our glass in and make it back to put it back into the boat then we'll be able to put our deck back in drill our holes foam it and then it's just a matter of sanding the whole boat and painting it We've got our piece in, got her all pookied up and sealed up. We'll let her cure for probably an hour. Maybe after an hour, I'll pull these screws out just to get them out of there. But um, I had a little bit of extra pookie left over, so I just smushed it in the top. There's still a gap there, but the rest of this is all nice and sealed up. All back to being a part of the boat. And once we pull these screws out, we can grind out. We'll probably fill this crack with pookie. And once this is all filled up, we'll grind down maybe a two inch space all the way along here so we can lay a piece of glass in there all the way around. And then we will grind that down, fair it out, smooth this all out when we're fairing. We do need to fill this section here with some glass though. So once this dries up, we'll cut up some glass and get this the way we want it and lay that piece in there i mean really i don't have to do that because i could actually i do still have the metal piece that was on here and i could just stick that metal piece back on there without putting all these holes in there oh man i got sticky but without putting all the bolts back in it i'll just well i gotta knock all those off obviously but i might just put that on there without putting the screws in there and use the the bolts from the engine to secure it to the transom um, then I could just glass this up but I don't need to make it very structural I can just roll the glass over and then cover it up with the metal bracket that will give it some added strength I might put that back on there just to, just to have it on there so that way eventually if someone wants to put a 40 50 60 on there outside of the 25 that I've got if somebody wants to put that 25, take the 25 off, put on a 40, 50, 60, that bracket, that metal aluminum plate will give it the more strength that it needs to take the power of that engine. I mean, the transom is strong enough even if they did, so they really don't need to have that plate on there, but that'll save me some time in the fairing stage and the filling stage and the entire glassing process. So um, we'll see what I end up doing there.